Hi guys, I received a message from Adiga Bogoska. It says, Hey Duncan, I he heard about this program that turns any drive, iPod, or other removable drives into a portable computer, kind of like the 50 megabyte down small Linux. The program is called Mojo Pack. These, there are videos of it on YouTube, but you seem like the one trusts, so can you please make a video of it? Um, thanks for your question, Adi um, your username. Um, he provided me with a link, and I, I'm being the curious person, I had to check it out, I had to download it and try it out, and I must say that it is very, very interesting. Now, to explain what Mojo Pack is really simply, it is Windows XP on a pen, and then you can run it inside Windows XP. But um, you'd assume that this was to do with virtual machines, but it, it, I think it works differently to that. But I'll show you it. In, I'll show you it running. And I'll show you the install of it. Um, how is this useful? Well, what you can do with this is basically have your own version of Windows XP, install programs on it like you would on your machine, um, like Microsoft Office, iTunes, apparently you can run Half-Life and things like that on it as well. Um, you can put, you can take it out of your machine, put it in someone else's machine, and um, you can then run those exact same applications on their machine. So you're not worrying about portable software, portable applications or anything like that, it's an actual XP version, but it's on a pen. Now I'm still bemused as to how it really works, I'll show you why. So um, what I'm going to do, I have a drive L and it's 116 megabytes. Now you'd think that it wouldn't be able to fit on it because it's copying XP across and it wouldn't fit on the pen, but it actually does and it leaves me quite a bit of space. So I'm going to show you it installing. Now I've also installed it on a separate drive and what I'm going to be doing is loading that up in a virtual machine. Now the virtual machine is a completely different PC to mine so it'll be as if I plugged it into a PC that's not mine because I um, installed Mojo Pack using my machine and this is just a completely different machine that I'll be plugging it into, well, virtually. So, uh, let's get started at installing this to drive L and I'll show you it running while this is installing. So, Mojo Pack installer uh, you have to register for their website, but it does it all in the install, so don't worry. Now it says, Welcome to the Mojo Pack installation. Now, this is Mojo Pack Freedom, or we're going to be using Mojo Pack Freedom, which means you can use it for free, basically. But you have to be aware, I was reading through the terms, uh, somewhere it says something about um, them aggregating um, information about you. Um, so you may want to be careful, you may want to block anything that um, transmits to the internet or anything, um, because I think they collect information on programs you install, excuse me, and things like that. So. I'm just going to click this product as license for personal non-commercial use because that's what I'm going to use it for. Install Mojo Pack on an iPod or portable USB drive or in a directory and on my host PC. So I'm just going to say on an iPod or portable USB. Now my um, USB keys are very cheap, they suck. Now the one thing to be careful of, because you're probably getting really excited that I'm going to show you this XP version that's going to run really fast. It's not the case, it is quite slow, I have to admit, but this may just be down to my crappy USB pen. So, uh, as I said, I'm going to install it on drive L. I'm just going to pick L, and it says serial number is valid. Uh, disk space, it says limited disk space for additional applications, so it can still fit what it's got on there, um, what it wants to on there. and. Um, I just won't be able to install many extra things. It says install type is install and the disk performance is very crappy. You seem to have a slow USB device. Oh well. Um, so I'm just going to install it on this. I'm not actually going to show you that it on this one. I'm going to show you on a different drive, but that performed a little bit better. I think it was around here. But I'm not sure how iPods look or anything like that. I'm not sure about read and write speeds or anything as well. So anyway, I'm not going to install this Mojo Pack Usher either because that's about having limited uh, users. I'm not going to bother with that. So I'm just going to press next and it's going to install it. So, let's go onto this virtual machine and show you it running. Now, I'm, I've got it in drive N, and I'm just going to mount it into this uh, drive just by going to removal disk there. And hopefully, it will mount it into the machine for me. Anytime soon. Anytime soon. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. It just takes, it takes a little while to get started. Um, I, I've been having issues trying to get the USB running on here anyway. So um, anyway, let's get started. So uh, straight away, it's ha come up with the auto plan. It says run Mojo Pack. So let's run it. Now, obviously, you won't, don't want it to go straight into your desktop because um, you'll plug it, plug it into someone else's machine. And if it goes straight to the desktop, um, someone could steal your key and go into your desktop. So this is actually password protected, and you have to um, sign up uh, with this whole Mojo Pack thing, and then you can create a password for your drive. So then it becomes separate. So I'm going to cancel this, and it says username and password. So I'm going to go and put my password in, press login, 
And so the whole lot goes um, into full. It goes into full screen. It says initializing system now. Um, I wouldn't be able to show you this on my machine um, because it will obviously go full screen, and you, I wouldn't be able to show you what's going on in the background. So how are we so far on this? Uh, now it says it's not responding, but I know it is because my pen drive is actually going at the moment. So it's still installing. It's just uh, locked up the uh, user interface a little bit. So, um, so um, with this um, drive, as it's installing, you can see I've only got 116 megabytes, and I don't understand how it's how it's managed to do that. Um, it, it still amuses me how it's um, it's 70 percent done now. As you can see, it just amuses me how it's done it. But anyway, let's um, go back to this. It's now loading the configuration. Now, I installed it on here. Now, I assumed um, that it would probably keep my theme and things like that, but it doesn't. It uses the theme from actual Windows. Here we go, it's now started. So, uh, you can see it's using the um, start button. And just to show you that this is a different Windows version, um, if I was to say switch to host, you can switch back to where it was. I say switch to host. Now, again, um, being wary of the speed, I've got a crappy USB drive. So just gotta be aware of that. You see, it says donk. Click here, mofo, with the um, start button. If I switch back to Mojo, it switched to start. So it is a completely separate thing. However, um, the USB drive itself is one gigabyte in total. Now, uh, if I can, uh, if it will eventually show the start menu. Um, what I don't understand is that um, you see that says here. It says total space is 981 megabytes. That's my drive. It treats it as drive C. My uh, USB drive treats it as drive C. If I double click into it. And then I go right click on the Windows directory. Watch as it counts up. I don't understand because um, what I think it does, it must somehow redirect somewhere else. Because can you see it's, it's going over? Um, it, and you can see that I'm installing Mojo Pack onto here and it's not even gone anywhere near um, 116 megabyte. And now this is going over a 1 gigabyte. Yeah, it was inside, the, inside my main drive. So what I assume it does is it uses the Windows directory on the actual PC you plug it into and starts using the files from there because um, you'll notice that if I go into it it's got my full drive but I, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't copy that um, separately because if I go into my old disk as it's doing it and go into Windows you see it's not got that many files um, now obviously it's still installing but um, I, I don't understand how it works I'm st I'm, it still amuses me but anyway um, we're back into this drive, so all we need to do, um, well, obviously I do this on my PC, um, is install programs. Now, I haven't installed anything to be able to show you, unfortunately, but um, it, it just runs as a normal XP install, and it's got your documents, which are on your pen drive and not the documents on the computer. So this is just, it's like a separate profile, um, in a way, separate profile from the computer you're on, and this is all customised just to be yours. Uh, obviously it tries to make you purchase it, just puts a purchase button on here, but I'd, I could just ignore that, that's fine. And um, in the settings you have uh, general, notify me when new alerts uh, appears, password, make a new password, driver support, automatic updates. So um, it always checks for updates when um, you first start it, I think, anyway. So um, that is pretty much what it looks like when once you've done it, and this little pie chart tells you how much you've... So, that's weird isn't it I have a gigabyte drive and it's saying I've got 79% free yet I had that whole Windows directory so um, either way it works um, now obviously if your college or work or something blocks um, unknown executable files or anything like that you probably won't be able to run this because obviously you've got to run the installer um, but well it's worth a go worth trying out because I mean um, it doesn't take that much space even though it weirdly says it does or something but anyway um, so now this is now finished so it's at 100% and if I go back into the drive again just to show you how much space I've got left free space 60 meg so it only took 56 megabytes of space so um, uh, it says choose your mojo um, it does, we don't want technical support or advanced features we just want the main things and it says outlook games and IM so you can install MSN messenger on here if you want to um, and your games anything so um, I'm just gonna go next and uh, it says you're running Mojo Pack because um, mine's uh, my Windows is installed on Drive D, so um, it doesn't like that. Now, for some reason, before it froze up and uh, crashed, so it may crash, but um, let's hope it doesn't. So um, I can now just uh, quit out of this if I want to. Uh, I'm running out of time, so you basically type in the device, type in the website, pre press next, and that's about it. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.